Hello everyone, so today I am here to do kind of my October TBR, but also just spooky books that are on my TBR, I guess. Yeah, it's the spooky books that I want to read in October. Um, there is quite a long list, but I'm really excited about all of these. I am not a mood reader usually, I'm very much just a TBR person usually, but except for October, I save up all of my spooky reads for October and just read all of them and it's so fun. I have already started kind of this year because my boyfriend and I have already started watching all of our horror movies because we have quite a long list of horror movies to be watching. So this year I have a lot of plans to make it as spooky as possible because <laughs> I feel like Halloween has not felt like Halloween in the past couple of years and I'm not having it so we're gonna try super hard to be super spooked and just loving all of the horror books. Horror is kind of my favorite genre recently. So yeah, let's just get on into it and I'll show you guys the different books that I have on this October's TBR. So first and foremost, I have a buddy read of my favorite book of 2019. I'm rereading it to be able to annotate it. And that is, of course, Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. Me and Haley both read this last October and absolutely loved it. It was my favorite book of the year. And we both just really want to reread it to be able to annotate it. So we have it all split up. I am planning on buying the <laughs> paperback version to actually annotate when it comes out in October 6th, I believe, because I just prefer paperbacks for annotating. It's a thing. It's fine. But yeah, we are planning on rereading Imaginary Friend and I'm so excited. I feel like this book is just the perfect horror novel for me. It's very, it's, it is horrific and horror, but it's very much the thing that I always talk about that I enjoy in the horror genre, which is more terror than horror. And I am so excited for this. It's just, I feel like this is gonna set the spooky mood perfectly. We're reading in kind of the middle of October. So I feel like it's gonna be just a perfect, like, it is time for spooky season kind of book. And I'm so excited for it. I, again, favorite book of 2019. And I'm so excited to be rereading it. I, I have honestly had to hold myself back from like starting it already. <laughs> Haley and I also have another buddy read planned for this October because we both have the book Cult X by Fuminori Nakamura. We both really like Japanese horror because we both absolutely have loved things that we've read in the past. So we both picked up this book over the summer and we have plans to buddy read it this October. I'm really excited for it. Again, we have it all split up into sections. Um, I honestly don't know much about what this book is except for like what the cover kind of shows. It looks like it's gonna be super interesting. I feel like it's been a little while since I've read a Japanese lit. No, I read a couple in September, but like, I don't know. It's been a while since I just picked up a random, I guess, Japanese literature, like a book, because I feel like I've been definitely sticking to authors that like I already kind of know. So I'm really excited to try this new author, especially in the Japanese horror genre because again have loved everything I've read in this genre so far. So it also I'm really interested in this because this has awful ratings on Goodreads. It has like a three or like a two something and I am fascinated as to why. So yeah this is another one we're buddy reading. And then my biggest priority besides my buddy reads is definitely this book that everyone has been recommending me because of a very specific phobia that I have and that is all uh the only good indians by stephen graham jones if you guys somehow don't know i have an incredibly aggressive phobia of deer <laughs> it's a long story i have a phobia of deer that's all you need to know and uh, imagine my friend has deer bunny has deer like a lot of my favorite horror books and just books in general have like evil deer in them and i apparently really like being terrified by this so obviously this has some sort of evil deer in it. I think it might be more of like an evil deer creature, like mythological creature, but either way, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this book and I'm so excited for it. Definitely my highest priority book for this month besides my buddy reads, so. So excited for this. And then I have a bit of a classic, I guess, to, it's not an actual classic, but it's like kind of a classic horror novel. Um, I have Shutter Island by Dennis Lehane. I watched the movie of this with my boyfriend in the summer or spring or something, and I really, really liked it, and I really liked how psychological it was. So I decided to pick up the book. I do hear that the movie was pretty accurate to the book, but I still would love to just read the book. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So I picked this one up. 
I'm excited to read it. And then I have an ebook. It's another book by Stephen Graham Jones, who wrote The Only Good Indians, and that is Night of the Mannequins. And this is just a novella that he wrote, but I decided to pick it up. I think it's just a little over 100 pages. I have not really seen many people talking about this, but I thought it sounded interesting. I am a little bit curious if I'm going to like this one because weirdly like a very specific thing that doesn't scare me that I feel like is in a lot of movies and books and stuff is mannequins like I just don't find I don't see why dolls and mannequins are spooky <laughs> but um I decided to pick this one up because it is um this author's like newest work that came out so yeah I picked this one up it's on my kindle so hopefully I will just I think I might pick that one up like really early in the month to just like kick off the spooky um so yeah Hopefully that one will be getting read in like literally the next week or two. And then I have a whole bunch of audiobooks that I have checked out from Audible but also from like my library and stuff. So the first one that I have is One by One by Ruth Ware. I really have enjoyed a couple of Ruth Ware's books in the past. Not all of them. I haven't read all of her works but more of her recent stuff. Her old stuff honestly just doesn't really appeal to me very much but I really enjoyed The Death of Mrs. Westaway and Turn of the key and this is her newest one honestly I've heard pretty bad reviews of it but I have it so I'm gonna try it out uh I think this is about like people getting stuck on a snowy mountain or something it reminded me of that movie <laughs> that me and my boyfriend watched what was that called they are like all trapped in a cabin together in the like mountains in the snow it's got like a really stacked cast and I can't remember what it was called <laughs> I have this one. I'm a little bit hesitant about it, but I think it'll just be a fun thriller to read for um, October because I actually didn't really have any thrillers. So, And then the next one is definitely a very, very hyped up book um, everywhere. I was about to say here on booktube, but it's honestly everywhere. And that is Mexican Gothic. And I don't know much about this book except for that it is a horror gothic novel. Um, I have no clue what the plot of this is. I just keep hearing people talking about it and say that it's amazing. So I picked it up. I'm interested in it. I really enjoy gothic literature. So I have heard that this is actually very true to the gothic genre. So that very much interests me. And then I have three Stephen Kings to try out. If you guys know me, you know that I actually don't really like Stephen King. Um, I have read a couple of his books and I actually really did enjoy Pet Cemetery. Um, I think he's probably a pretty good dude as from what I've seen of him on Twitter, but like his books have a lot of problematic elements in them that personally offend me. Um, like the use of the R word and a lot of other derogatory slangs and slang words towards, um, disabled people and like the LGBT community and stuff like that so I just am not like I'm very cautious about Stephen King especially his older work but of course his old work is kind of um the spookiest so I have three to try out that I got from my library so first up we have The Shining I've never seen The Shining I've never read The Shining I really don't know what it's about except for the thing with red rum is murder backwards and then the guy like sticking his face in the fucking fence and being like, where's Johnny or something like that. <laughs> That's literally the only thing I know about The Shining. I think it takes place in like a spooky inn or something like that. I don't know. I, I have no clue. No clue what any of these are about. But um, The Shining by Stephen King. I'm finally going to read it. And then I also have Salem's Lot by Stephen King, which is, I believe, his vampire book. Am I wrong? Um, I think this is the one that is about vampires, but they're actually like spooky vampires. So yeah, I know nothing else besides that. I don't even know if that's right. This might not be the spooky vampire one, but Salem's Lot. It's one of the ones I could get out from my library. <laughs> and then I actually have one of his newest books and that is The Outsider. Um, I know that this spoils his series Mr. Mercedes, but I don't care. Like I really do not care to read that series at all. They do not interest me in the slightest. I have heard about them for years and I don't care. So um, I am just going to read this one, which actually interests me. So again, don't really know what this is about. I just think the cover is super spooky. And every single time I see it in a like bookstore or anything, I'm always like, oh, that looks really spooky and really good. But I don't know if I'm gonna like Stephen King. So I've been just kind of trying him on audio rather than like committing to reading like an actual physical book by him. Um, so 
again, another one that I could actually get out on audio from my library. Yeah, those are all of the different books that I am planning on reading this October to get into the spooky mood. I'm really, really excited about all of these. I am definitely the most excited about my Imaginary Friend reread and um, The Only Good Indians. Those are definitely the ones that I am the most excited for and I'm just... <laughs> I can't wait for it to be October. I kind of want September to just be over. Like time has been going way too fast, but at the same time, I'm like, I just want September to be done so it can be October. <laughs> I mean, the leaves are already changing. Like I don't know where everyone else lives, but I live in New Hampshire and the leaves are already changing. Like there's so many red and orange and yellow leaves out right now. So it already is very, very fall <laughs> um, around here. It's also really cold recently, but uh, yeah, I, so it already definitely feels like autumn and fall and spooky season, but I feel like that the the moment it hits October 1st, it's truly autumn and spooky season. So that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this kind of TBR video and definitely tell me down in the comments below what you guys are planning on reading for spooky season. Are you guys mood readers? I'm really curious about this because I feel like the majority of booktube are mood readers um, and I'm not. Like <laughs> I never understand when people talk about mood reading except for spooky books in October. That's the only mood reading that I do. Um, so yeah, I'm curious. Are you guys mood readers? Like are you going to be reading all spooky books for October and again tell me some spooky book recommendations because I always could use them um, especially because I, I feel like this it feels like a lot of books but also I read like upwards of like 15 to 20 books a month usually so if I finish all of these I'll just be picking up my I have a very large stack of there we go right down there of Will McIntosh books which are all like sci-fi dystopians that could be kind of spooky so who knows, maybe I'll read some more spooky books, but also tell me any recommendations you have that I could keep my eyes out for. But anyways, I love y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!